Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to your faces back to another Stormworks search and destroy video. Today we are going to do something that a lot of you guys have actually wanted for the past, I don't know how long actually, but uh, essentially what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be adding jet engines to this thing instead of using the propellers. Now, I know a lot of you guys want to see that, so that's what we're going to do. Let's do this. Okie dokie, so we actually need to go ahead and delete pretty much all of this at the back. Essentially, we need to delete all of these pieces that actually have angles on them because, honestly, that's where we need to start, uh, and that will be the easiest way of doing it. So delete that guy, that guy, that guy, that guy, that guy, and that guy, and then delete every single one of these as well, if I possibly can. If I can then delete all of this on the bottom as well, that would be perfect. Delete all the straight pieces, and then all of these wonky pieces as well. This is going to take quite a lot of doing, I'm not going to lie, but uh, once we've done it, it should be pretty awesome. We're actually going to go ahead and uh, delete all of this too. There we go. Alright, cool. Uh, delete this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy, and all of these ones as well. And we will be good. There we go, alright, cool. That is actually pretty good. Nice. Delete all of these ones as well. Delete this guy, delete these ones, and we will be good. Very nice. Alright, cool. Delete all of that backwards as well. Delete all of these. Uh, and actually delete the whole engine setup as well, because we don't need it. We do not need the engines! No, we don't! There we go, get rid of all of them. Good. Okay, there is a lot of deleting to be done here, but hopefully we can get it done pretty quickly. And then once we have got it done, we can attach our jet engine in there. And, uh, yeah, go to work with that, because that'd be awesome. Alright, delete all of this. There we go. Delete all of these guys. All of this. This is taking its time, I'm not going to lie. Uh, batteries, they're... Kind of important. We should probably keep those. <laughs> uh, and we'll be good to go from there. Alright, cool. Delete the rest of this. Delete that guy right there. And delete this. Okay, delete that guy as well. And fill that in with nothing. And uh, delete these guys. Honestly, just fit this back together as well. If I possibly can. There we go. Pretty good. And yeah, that's awesome. That is actually very, very cool. Good. Is there anything else that we really, really, really need to do back here? I don't think so. <laughs> I think we got this sorted, guys. I think we've got it sorted. Alright, cool. Delete all of this as well. If I possibly can. And, uh, yeah. Delete these guys as well. We can then delete this and these. And honestly, we can just fit that straight to there. That is perfect. That is actually perfect. We've still got this thing on the top, which we will be using still. And uh, we can fit our jet engines in there. Good. Okie dokie, so we literally only need one jet engine uh, per side because you can actually have three exhausts per jet engine. Actually, you can have more than three exhausts per jet engine, but we will only be having three, uh, but that's okay. Right, so small intake, that is obviously going to be the first thing we have. It is going to go right there. That's awesome. We're then going to add a compressor because the air needs to be compressed. And then actually, we need to add some more things. A combustion chamber. There we go. And we then need to add one of these guys so that we can actually ignite a bunch of exhaust pieces. So this goes here like this. That is awesome. We put another piece on the other side like this if we can. Uh, we'll have to delete this bit though, unfortunately, but that is okay. If we can fit it in at least. Hold on. There we go. If we can fit that in there, that'd be epic. And honestly, if we just seal these pieces in, that should still be fine. It should be okay, I think. We'll then delete all these guys, and we'll actually put these on there, like that. We'll fit this little piece in there, and we'll do this. Okay, that's sick. That is actually very, very cool. Uh, the exhaust pieces can then go on the back of here, and that will be it. That's all we need to do. That's perfect. I like it. Okie dokie. So, if we can actually go ahead and delete some of these pieces and make this bit look okay, uh, that would be amazing. So, there we go. We'll do that piece right there. We'll fit all of that in, and... Uh, yeah, we'll do all of this as well. So, we'll attach these pieces on to there. Oh, this isn't going to look as good as I want it to, which is super annoying. But if we do that, that'll be okay. And we can attach that piece to there. That looks alright, I suppose. Yes, okay. We can then put this piece on here, but it is going to be in this color. Obviously, because it always is on these little bits. There we go. And we'll brush this backwards, just like this. Okay, that is pretty sick. I like it. I actually really like that. That's cool. Uh, right, okay. So if we can, we're going to attach these pieces on. Delete this guy right here. And I think we'll be able to put this on like that. Okay, that's actually really cool. 
it works. Okay, so with that being said, then how do we fit the rest of it in? I don't know. <laughs> I honestly have no idea how to fit this on properly uh, so that it all fits. But honestly, if we just do something uh, with straight lines, that would be awesome. There we go to there. That seems pretty good indeedy. And if we can fit that somewhat together, that would be great too. But honestly, I don't know how we're supposed to do that. <laughs> I, I don't know how I'm supposed to do that. Uh, realistically, I guess we could actually start by putting these back on. And doing something like this, which in theory, I guess would work. It could work. Alright, put that on there like that. Good. Make this one black and put it on there. There we go. Awesome. And yeah, I guess that does actually work. Alright, cool. Go to this side and do exactly the same thing. Like that. Very good. Put this piece on right here like this and fix that together as well, I guess. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, there we go. Put that on there like that. That seems pretty good. I think that's okay. All right, cool. Uh, it does mean that these aren't actually centered though. And I feel like they should be. So maybe we should actually move them over to the side one. And that'll be okay. And then they will actually be centered. centered and and that will be awesome. Okie dokie. So we're going to go ahead and grab these guys. Uh, a few of you guys have actually mentioned as well. Uh, sometimes I don't look at the camera very much, and I guess there's no point in me having a webcam on if I don't look at the camera, so there you go. I'm going to attempt to look at the camera a little bit more, but uh, yeah, it's difficult. It is difficult. All right, cool. Put that back. We need to put that wall back, uh, I guess like this. Okay, and we need to do exactly the same thing uh, to the other side because we need those engines. All right, cut them, move them over one, paste them back in, and fit all of the engine pieces. All right, here we go. From there... All the way forwards. Uh, if I can. I can't see though. I can't see where that's going. Alright, merge the pieces. There we go, merge that with there, merge that with there. And now we can actually see where the walls need to go. Or oh, can we? Yeah, okay, right. So from there. All the way forward to here. Okay, cool. We've added the walls. We get ourselves our engines. Will it work? That is the question. Who knows? It might, it might not. Alright, cool. So get this. Go ahead and put it there like that. The engines themselves are going to be painted this colour. There we go. And we're going to fit these on the underside. So that it goes all the way to the edge. Okay, does that work? Does it actually work? Who knows? I, I, mm, It doesn't look exactly how I wanted it to look. And that's unfortunate. But, with that being said, it still looks okay. So we're going to keep it as is. We are going to keep it as is. Alright, block that up. Go ahead and block this downwards. Grab another one of those guys. Make it the right color. And whack it in right there. Okay, very good. And honestly, I think we should just seal it together from there. But we'll do this anyway. Because we can. Okie dokie. Put it on the other side and do the same thing. There we go. And fix it together. There we go. Alright. That is actually pretty sick. That is actually pretty sick. There we go. So if we did go with that, does it look okay? I think it does. I honestly think that looks pretty cool. Okay, so paint that bit in. So it doesn't look so weird. Alright, put that block in there as well. And now, we have ourselves some jet engines in there. Uh, and I think they'll work. I think that's cool. Okay, so something that we do need to do is we actually need to grab one of these guys, delete it, and have it go backwards. We need it to flow backwards, uh, but honestly, we need it to go straight into there as well. So, we need the pipes in action uh, to come all the way backwards. So, they'll go to there. There we go, pretty much. Good. Uh, we'll do this piece that goes upwards. There we go. We'll do this piece that goes downwards, and we'll attach them together. Okay, there we go. Good. Good, 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 good. We're then going to make this jet fuel. We'll make that one jet fuel as well, if we can. Jet fuel, good. And now our jet engines should work, maybe. Okay, so that does mean I'm actually going to go ahead and delete this right here, and we are going to attach another button. Uh, this is going to be for our jet engines. There we go. This is going to be for the gyro. It's already labeled. That's perfect. Right, so our jet engines, we've only got two of them. We're going to turn on just like that. Good. That needs electricity. The jet engines themselves need electricity. And, uh, yeah, we're good. We are good. Do these guys all have electricity? They don't. See, that's a problem. Whenever you delete something, the way we've deleted the engines, uh, and the way we're attaching these together, it means that sometimes you actually end up 
messing some stuff up, which isn't the best. It is not the best, but whatever. We've done it. It all should work now, so that's perfect. Nice. Very nice. All right, cool. Is there anything else that I need to do? We need to obviously set this up uh, so that it works. When the jet engines turn on, we'll be good. We need a PID uh, for both engines, and that's it. All right, cool. We might as well put the PIDs up here. And we'll connect them all together. And we need a throttle lever as well somewhere, if I can. So I think what we'll do is we'll delete on one side. We'll put ourselves a throttle lever in. And we'll reattach everything, and hopefully it'll all work. All right, put that in there. Very good. Uh, we need windows uh, to fix the rest of it. So we'll do this. And honestly, we what? A 1 by 3 Is that what we need? I don't know what we need. I think it's a 1 by 3 Okay, so we need one of these. Put that in there, like so. And there we go. Awesome. Yes. Connect that to said electricity. Uh, that is going to be connected to a PID. In fact, both PIDs. I do believe. Okay, so set point, process variable. Uh, I think that's it. I think that I can't remember the way around this needs to be. Uh, but set point, there we go. This connects to the engine. This also connects to the engine. Uh, this needs to be active when the engines are active. Okay, so that goes to there. It also goes to there. And then this guy goes to the RPS of the engine. Okay, process variable. RPS. Okay, so now they should be fine, except we need to put the values into both of those. Which I don't know the values. I can't remember what they should be. Alright, so I can't remember how PID systems actually work, but we're just going to go with uh, 0 in there. There we go, 0 in there. And 0 0.1 in there. I don't know if this will work. I have literally no idea. But I guess we'll have to see. So 0 0.1 in there, 0 in there, 0 in there. That is excellent. Okay, so now we should be able to turn on the engines and get them running. This is going to be max value 180, and we'll see if it works, I guess. Okie dokie, jet engines are going to be on straight away. There they are, that is pretty sick. And uh, once they start running properly, we should be good to go. Oh god, here we go. You know what? That doesn't seem right. <laughs> that doesn't seem right. I think we've attached these way, these things the wrong way around. So that might be the set point, and then this might be the process variable. But I can't remember the way around. Uh, if this just explodes us straight away, I'm sorry, but whatever. All right. So process variable set point. Okay. Let's just see what happens now. It might be that I've done those the wrong way around. I honestly haven't worked with jet engines in this game in a long time. So, yes. Anyway, jet engine's on. Oh, maybe I'm completely wrong. I might be completely wrong. Maybe. Alright, whatever. We're just going to ignore them for now. We are going to ignore them for now, guys. The throttle lever is just going to control the throttles. Uh, and that is how we are going to do this. There we go. We will explode. Uh, we will explode mid-air. Hopefully I have actually connected all the engine right. I do believe I have, so that's perfect. But let's do this. Take off. Very good. Here we go. Engines are on. They should provide enough thrust to get us into the sky. Because they are jet engines at the end of the day. If they don't, then that's really weird. is going on here? What is actually happening there? I don't understand what's going on there. I'm not entirely sure what's happening. Unless... Oh, we don't have a thing. They're turning on, but we don't have a turbine, so it doesn't actually make any sense. Alright, I understand now. I forgot to put the turbine in. Alright, grab all of these and all of the things in front of them. There we go. Cut it. Move it backwards about three. Paste it back in. We're then going to get a turbine and we'll whack it straight on there. Okay, medium. Put it on there like that, that's good. And honestly, I think we can get away with this. If we just attach this on, like that. 
like that. There we go. We merge these pieces in. That's pretty good. And if we do this, that seems pretty good too. And we need them all to be the right colors. So that's going to go like that. Pretty good. That's going to go like that. That's pretty good too. And honestly, we'll just seal this in too. One, two, th three. Oh, I should be doing this on both sides. All right, undo all of that. Okay. All right, so on both sides, we're going to paste this in there. There we go. We're going to go back to this side. Okay, and we're going to paste this in here like this. We're going to get rid of this one, this one, and this one. And then on both sides, we're going to put one of these in. There we go. And now we should be good. We can put generators in there. That would be awesome. Uh, and then we can fit the rest of it, which is obviously awesome too. So if we can fit this from here up to there, that would be perfect. Merge this with this. Merge that with that. That's good. And yes. All right. Seal it all in. Seal it all in indeedy. All right. Put those right there. Put those right about there as well. There we go. If there's any holes anywhere else that I need filling, we'll fill them. But I think we're good. We'll leave it as is for right now. Okay. So electricity is going to go to there. Electricity is going to go to there. The set points all need to go back to where they were. So the process variable is that one. Set point is going to be this one. And uh, yeah. Set point, process variable. Okay. And I think we're good. I think we're good. It might work this time. Okie dokie. Everybody ready? Please say these engines ignite. Yes, they do. Okay, perfect. We're off to a brilliant start. We are now moving. Okay, we are now in the sky. And our gyro is going to go on. Okay, we are jittering around all over the place. We're flying a bit fast. We're about to explode. We've exploded. Good. But we do... I mean, we're fast. We are fast. We just need it to not explode. Because obviously that's bad. But you know what? With jet engines, this thing looks pretty good. I like it. Okie dokie. Right. I, I'm going to get a picture of this uh, right now. Because as you guys can see, it is on fire. But that is a pretty cool thing to get a picture of. Uh, my plane being on fire. There we go. And we've added jet engines, guys. That is, that is awesome. I need to fiddle with the PID system. But how fast did we actually end up going there? Our speed is currently 24. Let's take off one more time. We'll see what kind of speeds we can get up to. And then we'll figure it out from there. But for some reason we exploded. Is that because that's not point 0.1? I, I don't... I genuinely don't really know how these work. We'll raise that up to 0.3. Uh, again, I can't remember how this works. So there you go. Don't know how to do PID systems. I will get some help with that and uh, we'll figure it out. But anyway, let's get back inside. Turn the engines on. Let's go. Let's see how fast we can make this thing go. Okay, interior lights, heaters, let's go. Let's go, go, go. Okay, so we were going like 80-something without jet engines. With jet engines, we are going 200. With jet engines, we go 200 meters per second. That's fast. That is very, very quick. And I'm actually very surprised that it can get up to that speed, but I'm not surprised at the same time. We have have a lot of power in this thing so yeah we've added jet engines now that is awesome let me know if you guys do actually want to see this uh as jet engine powered i do like the propellers i'm not gonna lie but i think if we can set these jet engines up so they don't explode it could be a beast this thing could be really good but for now i'm gonna go ahead and leave this here and uh hopefully i'll get someone to help me uh make those work properly and uh yeah i guess i'll upload these to the workshop very soon as well so you guys can check them out for yourselves but for right now, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.